Top 10 Things to Do in Vancouver Traveling is one of the greatest joys in life. It's a chance to explore new places, meet new people, and discover new cultures. It's also a great way to recharge and get away from the stresses of everyday life. But what if you happen to travel to Vancouver? Where should you go then? Lucky for you, because in this video we'll be sharing some of the things you can do when traveling to Vancouver. So sit back, relax, and get ready to discover why this city is worth adding to your travel bucket list. But first, like and subscribe to the channel so that you're always updated with our videos. Of course, this video is brought to you by TrippyDabbyDoo.com, the premier platform for booking tours and activities in this city, and is the proud sponsor of this video. Interested in traveling? Click the link in the description below. Vancouver is a city located on the west coast of Canada, in the province of British Columbia. It is the third largest city in Canada and is known for its stunning natural beauty and outdoor recreational opportunities. The city is surrounded by mountains, forests and water and is home to several beaches, parks and gardens. If you are interested for more, here are 10 things you can visit and do in the city. Number 10. Gastown Gastown is a historic neighborhood in downtown Vancouver that is known for its heritage buildings and Victorian-style homes. It received a National Historic Site designation for its notable significance and is a popular destination for visitors with its cobbled streets, restaurants, art galleries, boutique shops and historic sites. One of the most famous landmarks in Gastown is the steam-powered clock, the world's only still operating steam-powered clock that whistles every 15 minutes to tell the time. It's a great place to wander and discover all that it has to offer. Number 9. Transportation Alternate modes of transportation are available in Vancouver, such as the Aquabus ferry service and the Sea Bus, which offer unique and scenic ways to explore the city and its surroundings. The Aquabus is a colorful way to travel around Falls Creek and visit Granville Island, while the sea bus connects downtown and North Vancouver. Other options for discovering the city and its surroundings include taking a harbor cruise with a dinner option, riding a seaplane or going on a whale watching tour. These options provide a more exciting and memorable way to travel than traditional buses and metros. There are also other interesting neighborhoods to explore in Vancouver. So if you want more options, consider visiting our site, trippydabbydoo.com. This guide includes maps, links, itinerary suggestions, opening hours, and other useful information to aid you in your trip to Vancouver. While you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Number 8. Science World Science is an incredibly fascinating and important field that has the power to transform our world and improve our daily lives in countless ways. That's why Vancouver is giving you the Science World. Science World is a museum of science and technology located in Vancouver that features interactive exhibits, galleries and life science demonstrations. It is housed in a distinctive mirrored dome and is a well-known landmark in the city. Science World is suitable for visitors of all ages and is a great destination for anyone looking to spark their curiosity and imagination. It is open to both locals and travelers and is a fun place to explore alone or with the whole family. Number 7. The Capilano Suspension Bridge Park Want a thrilling experience during your travel? Why not try the Capilano Suspension Bridge? The Capilano Suspension Bridge is a popular tourist attraction located in North Vancouver that spans the Capilano River. It is a long and high suspension bridge that has been the main attraction since 1889 and there has also been other things to do and see in the park, including thrilling treetop adventures and the cliff walk, which offers a spectacular view of the canyon below. The park also has casual dining options with scenic views and hosts a holiday event called the Canyon Lights between November and January where it is transformed into a magical world. 
It can be easily accessed by taking one of the free shuttle buses that depart from various locations in downtown Vancouver. Number 6. Chinatown Chinatown in Vancouver? Well, you heard that right. Vancouver's Chinatown is a historic neighborhood that was developed by Chinese immigrants who arrived in the city in the 1800s to work on railroads and mining operations. It has become one of the largest Chinatowns in North America and was recognized as a National Historic Site of Canada in 2010. It is known for its traditional shops, cocktail bars and rich Chinese culture and visitors can try authentic Chinese specialties like dim sum in the neighborhood's restaurants. Another notable attraction in Chinatown is the Dr. Sun Yat-sen Classical Chinese Garden, which is the first of its kind outside China and features fascinating pavilions and pathways. Number 5. Vancouver Aquarium Vancouver Aquarium is a popular tourist destination that is home to thousands of aquatic species and receives over 1 million visitors each year. It was the first and largest public aquarium in Canada and serves as both an aquarium and a center of marine research and rehabilitation. The aquarium offers a unique experience of the wonders of aquatic life through its impressive exhibits and displays and visitors can learn about rescued marine life and watch sea lions in action. It also has a 4D theater that adds an immersive and sensory element to the experience. Now tell me, isn't that remarkable? Number 4. Vancouver Maritime Museum Step back in time and discover the secrets of the past at this museum. The Vancouver Maritime Museum is a museum dedicated to showcasing the maritime history of the Pacific Northwest and the Arctic. It has a collection of over 50,000 artifacts, model ships, and old photos to tell the stories of important historical voyages and lost expeditions. The museum's most prominent exhibit is the St. Roch, a large Arctic vessel that made the first west to east journey through the Northwest Passage in the 1940s and it is listed as a National Historic Site. If you are looking for more, I suggest climbing aboard the vessel and exploring its decks and cabins because why not? Trust me, it's completely allowed. The museum also has an exhibit featuring the Ben Franklin, a yellow submarine that was built for a 30-day study in the Gulf Stream back in 1969. Number 3. Vancouver Lookout Tower at the Harbour Centre When travelling to this place, don't ever forget about the Vancouver Lookout Tower at Harbour Centre, as it is a popular tourist destination that offers a 360-degree panoramic view of downtown Vancouver and beyond. The building was constructed in the Brutalist style and features a large-scale use of poured concrete and was opened by American astronaut Neil Armstrong in 1977. The Lookout Tower has an audio tour and information panels to help visitors learn about the sights they see and visitors can also take a 40-second glass elevator ride to the top of one of Vancouver's tallest buildings. The tower also has a unique revolving diner called Top of Vancouver Restaurant. Number 2. Stanley Park Stanley Park is Vancouver's first and largest urban park. Covering 1,000 acres of land and making up half of the city's downtown area, it has a rich history that dates back to the time of the indigenous people. Because of its aesthetic value and cultural significance, the Canadian government deemed it worthy of preservation as a national historic site, and now it is famous for the woodland trails, aquarium, beach areas, lost lagoon, and other well-known attractions that it contains. So if you ever get a chance to travel here, do make the most of it and walk around the Rose Garden and Shakespeare Garden to enjoy beautiful landscaping paths and try taking a stroll to the Vancouver Seawall as well, which has been declared as the world's longest uninterrupted waterfront path in the world. Number 1. Granville Island Escape to a tropical paradise and discover the magic of island life with Vancouver's Granville Island. Granville Island is a small peninsula in Vancouver that was transformed from an industrial wasteland into a bustling shopping and market hub. 
It is home to over 300 businesses and attracts around a million tourists each year. The most popular attraction on Granville Island is the public market which is known as a food paradise as it offers a wide variety of seafood, produce and gourmet goods. Granville Island is also known for its artistic site with numerous theatre productions, art galleries and events and has parks with hiking trails and Canada's original microbrewery. During the winter months, visitors can experience world-class skiing at resorts like Grouse Mountain, Cypress Mountain, Mount Seymour Resort or Whistler Blackcomb. In the summer, visitors can explore the mountains or go on a hiking adventure and experience the breathtaking nature of Vancouver's surroundings such as the Bowen and Vancouver Islands. The point here is that Vancouver has so much to offer travelers, whether you're a local looking for some new activities or a visitor wanting to make the most of your trip, there is always something new and exciting to discover while in Vancouver. If you want to be guided in your future trips, visit trippydabbydoo.com so that you can get the most of your travel. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you're always updated with our life-changing content. Thank you for joining us on our tour of Vancouver. We hope you enjoyed learning about some of the top places to visit in this beautiful city.